Uh. I don't have time to make shoes for myself. Right. Let's say the shoemaker has the worst shoes. The shoemaker's son has the worst shoes. Back. <laughs> I remember the first month working here, I, I kept telling him, oh, I don't want to do this. It's not something I want to do the rest of my life, but I have to help my dad. And then I don't know what happened, like, I'd say like a few days after a month, something clicked to me. I was like, geez, you know what? This business is awesome. Right. I'm actually making this stuff. Yeah. And uh, also I'm a musician overseas where I travel all over the world. And it's, uh, I mean, you can write a song and it's a great song, but you, if you can make a shoe, People are just astonished because it's one of the hardest things to make. That's good, that means they're looking at it. And you're always trying to outdo yourself. Right. So every time I make a shoe, the next one's better. Right. The next one is better. Because you, you teach yourself new techniques. It's maybe something that nobody's ever done before, or something that everybody's done before. But to you, it's new.